Hello there, fellow Nigerians. Um, I'm Chief Pete Edoche, M-O-N. Um, I guess by now a lot of you must have been used to my face. <laughs> I, I was part of a movie that was uh, done a few days ago. Um, I played mm, a rather insignificant, insignificant part uh, as a guest actor. Um, the title of the film is Fatal Arrogance. The script is on my table. And um, two days after we ended shooting that film, I got calls from different parts of the country referring me to WhatsApp. I checked WhatsApp and I saw that uh, the Islamic movement of Nigeria, according to what I read, had notified the Inspector General of Police that um, Peter Doche and uh, the Nigerian government and some actors from the north had done a production that was intended to ridicule them and misrepresent them. I actually don't know what it means, but uh, it did not stop with WhatsApp. I saw it again, Opera Mini. And of course, I saw it at uh, inside um, YouTube, uh -huh, you know. And each version had a different slant to it. One of them claimed it was produced by Destiny Etiko, which is not true. The other one claimed. Um, the government gave money to Peter Doche to produce it and exculpate them from what they did in Zaria a couple of years ago. That too is a utter nonsense. And um, the third one was right. Said the producer of the film is um, Kinsley Oji Anosikin. I am moved to comment on what's going on because um, uh, some developments discredit our country generally and prevent people from visiting us. Uh, right now you have pockets of violence all over the country. There is no way you can explain what the provocation is, but you see, situations like this give rise to discontent. Sometimes this discontent can be expressed in violent terms. Number one, I don't understand what the Islamic movement is driving at. The film we shot is not even out. It has not been edited. The production is not complete. All right. If, as I read, they had complained to the Inspector General of Police, if the Inspector General of Police says, okay, give me a copy of the film so I know what you're talking about, what are they going to do? The film is not in existence, not yet. It is not in circulation. That's number one. Number two, I am supposed to have played a role that ridiculed their boss or their chief, whoever is in charge of their group. My name in the film we did is Alhaji Shasha Kurungu. Alhaji Shasha Kurungu. I am not aware that there is any leader of any religious sect in our country today who has had that name. If there is, pure coincidence because the name is fictional. Okay. I am suggesting that you wait. Keep your gunpowder dry. When the film is released, you can now make your grumbles known to the Inspector General of Police. Whatever is being done now is premature. It's not proper. Again, I did not want to comment on this 
but I am compelled to. I don't know much about the film. I just walked out of the doctor's office onto location because I had a very little part, very insignificant part to play. I had about five, six scenes. And at the end of that, I got into my car and I drove back home. For those of you who've been on location with me several times, the moment I'm through with my part, I get away. I don't know the people who are on, on, on the production with me. No, it's not my habit hanging out. I think I'm too old for that. So if I am through with my bit, I go home. Fatal arrogance. Whatever it is, whatever it deals with, I think the best thing to do is to wait until the production comes out. When I was told that there were grumblings and threats to my life that have been so consistent, I decided to find out what the film was all about. I was told that a lot of military vehicles featured in the film, soldiers featured in the film, military uniforms, guns, everything. My name is Chief Pete Edoche, not Major General Pete Edoche. I am not in the military. If the military provided all the props, it means they are fully aware of the content of that film. I did not write it. The film was produced by Kinsley Oji Anosike under the canopy of unbeatable family movies. If you want to express resentment over the production which you have not watched, which by the way makes it all poppycock, baloney, direct your grievances to the producer of the film. Not to Peter Luce, who is a mere actor. It does not concern me. If you do a film on the Civil War and you invite me to come and play the role of Bortala Muhammad, I will play it. Yes, even though I know what he did in Asaba, I will still play that role. That's why I'm an actor. If you ask me to play the role of Jumbo Kenyatta, I will, because they organized the Mao Mao to drive away imperialists. This is why I am an actor. Actors are not politicians. Actors don't identify with any group, no. Actors are people of character. They play characters, they have character. This is why they play characters. So I want to appeal to my brothers who feel aggrieved by uh, the film we just completed. If you must complain to the authorities about the film, why don't you wait until the film itself comes out? So you can examine the content. You can know what role which individual played. Then you can base your grumbles on that. For now, I think it is premature. And I mean every word of what I've just told you, I think it's premature. I thank all those people who, out of concern, have informed me of the campaign of denigration on my person, the organized threats on my person by the IMN. I thank you very much. I am a freeborn of Nigeria. And I pay near Kathar Nigeria, but as a local, I was born and raised in Nigeria. I'm not going to run away from this country because a few individuals think that they want things to be done their own way. No, 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 no. One more thing I want to let all of you know. At the end of the day, we must all die someday. No matter what you're doing now, right? We must all die someday. Is it a credit that a lot of people outside this country don't want to come to Nigeria now? It is not. And it's because of things like this. A few individuals group themselves together, express an illusion and he made that illusion and permit such illusions to guide their every activity. That is not proper. We have more than 70 universities in this country. There should not be a pathetic death of intelligence. No. There should not be. We should be leading other parts of the continent, not drawing the continent backwards. 
is not in our own interest. So I thank you for everything. I mean, those of you who are, are interested in what we do uh, to entertain you, keep patronizing every effort of ours. And for people who think that we exist to discredit them, mm -mm, that is not our job. You pay us and we interpret. Adolf Hitler featured prominently during the Second World War. A lot of films have been shot on the Second World War. Today, nobody answers Hitler. Am I right? And um, on a final note, every film produced in this country goes through the census board before it's permitted to circulate. Why don't you wait and see the reaction of the census board to this film when it comes out. Perhaps you can take it from there. Like I said earlier, whatever we are doing now is premature. To forestall the release of a film you have not even watched doesn't make much sense. No, it is not. So I thank all of you for your understanding and sincerely hope that you will give the production a chance. If tomorrow you, who belong to the movement you belong to, want a film done, give me the script. If I like it, you pay, and I'll do it for you. That is my job. I don't work for any particular person, no. I work for anybody who brings a good script, and that includes you.